Can you hear me now? We can. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, on behalf of Sounds of Blackness, singers and band, we are honored to be a part of this momentous occasion, uh, celebrating uh, and commemorating our dear brother, uh, iconic Emmett Till, 79th birthday, uh, and all that it represents. You know, the late great Fannie Lou Hamer said that she was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that was uh, 1964 at the Democratic National Convention when she boldly formed the Democratic Freedom Party uh, and broke up, but still maintained uh, activity with the convention. She was sick and tired of injustice, of inequality, of brutality, of lynchings and beatings. And of course, that comes right back to Emmett Till and fast forwards to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many more. So Sounds of Blackness, a few years ago with the emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, we wrote and recorded an anthem called Black Lives Matter. And uh, now we've been blessed to do the same for today's movement, uh, but we channeled the words of the late great Fannie Lou Hamer, and that's the reason and the purpose uh, of our new record, Sick and Tired of Being Sick and Tired, the words of Fannie Lou Hamer, the spirit of Fannie Lou Hamer, but applied today for Ahmaud Arbery and, and, and Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and so many more. And the fact that this represents, they represent four centuries of lynchings and brutality and, and castrations and burnings and mutilations uh, as Brother Till had to endure. So this song, uh, it's not a happy song, uh, but it's, uh, it's expressing the righteous indignation and the outrage and anger that's in the streets here in Minneapolis. Uh, and we promised people that we would not come out with a happy song about this. Uh, we've gotten many offers to do uh, hold hands, peace and love, kumbaya type songs, and we've turned them all down because that's not the mood of the times. Uh, right now, we don't need an anesthetic a narcotic, a, tranquil, a tranquilizer, or a sedative. We need music. Uh, Paul Robeson once said that all true artists have a responsibility to their people. And so our responsibility as Sounds of Blackness is to be the musical voice of the people. And that musical voice right now is a voice of rage and outrage and indignation and a call to action. And that's why we wrote and recorded Sick and Tired of Music. 